If you get this eagle, this will be your first eagle. And I have and to listen to my wife for the rest of my life. <laughs> yep. You got it. Hey guys, welcome to Team Faithful Golf. So we are gonna do the second half of this wife of caddy's husband nick just caddied for me so we are on the back half of the cruiser course this is hole number five i will be caddying nick for the next three holes so he has to listen to everything i say you ready what the <laughs> <laughs> all right so this is our home course and i kind of know what he's strong at and on this hole he definitely can hit his driver and get on the green in one. I think we're gonna do that. So grab you your driver. driver. Yeah. Yep. I haven't really swung my driver today, so <laughs> it's gonna well, be very there's interesting. there's a first for everything. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. All right. Yeah, get that driver out. Okay, Caddy, where should I tee it up? 237 yards. It's okay. about 240-ish. I think, well, yeah, I think you're in a great position. Nice and straight, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I mean, we also know that the wind is kind of going from left to right, so maybe you should aim slightly to the left. Okay. Nice, 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 nice. So it went super straight. Hopefully the wind didn't catch it and made it fade right, but great shot, Nick. Thank you. This is a par four? Yeah, this is a par four. How did that feel? Your Felt first good. driver shot of the day? Um, usually my first driver shots of the day don't end up that good. So, but that, that felt good. Good. Second shot, putting for eagle. Putting for eagle. If you get this eagle, this will be your first eagle. And I have and... to listen to my wife for the rest of my life. <laughs> Yep. Oh no, this is such a good position. Okay. There's the pin. This looks like it's a very slight left to right. So I kind of feel like if you aim just to the left of the cup, right around Like right here. Okay. But doesn't this green go? Oh man, it does look this right way? to left. Okay, maybe I'm not that great of caddy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm just no, no. Well, now that I'm standing on this side, it it does. It totally does. Okay, let's do. Yeah, into this side of the pin. Okay, right side of the pin. To the right, to your right of the pin. Okay. And I would probably just do like maybe a cup out. Does that look good? Yeah. <gasps> oh, dang, that was such a good putt. Oh my gosh, okay. Is this for birdie? Yeah, this is for Birdie. Yay! Get that Birdie. Well, all right, I'm starting the day one under. <laughs> I'll take that. All because of me. All right, so we are on hole number six. This is Nick's second hole where I'll be caddying for him. Nick hits off the white tees, so we. this is a dog leg left. Left, yes. Some of these terms. All right, I can't even see the pin from here, but I'm gonna just. So Nick had a great drive on that last one. And I think he could use his driver again. But I don't know if we should be a little bit more conservative. Because the goal isn't always just to get 
furthest because this is the dog leg left. Do you think you can get it over those trees and over that bunker there? I think so. If I hit it, uh, I've hit it over it before. Now the wind is coming from right to left. So I would aim probably right over those trees or like more straight, maybe over the smaller tree okay. and then see if it would carry. Okay. Uh, let's pull that driver out. This is such a weird feeling. My husband is actually listening to what I'm saying. Because he likes to say he hears me, but I think there's a huge difference between hearing and listening. Yeah? <laughs> Why so quiet? I hear you. <laughs> mm. I guess we play from there. What happened? It's feature got... friendly look. What? It's, you know, that's a feast or famine shot. The first one was great. Now it's about the second shot. All right. It's about that second shot, I guess. It's okay. I mean, what can you do? Nothing. Hit better. All right. So this second shot, let's, we're a little bit in the rough. So, I say we use an iron. An iron? Uh-huh. Just cause it is, it's not totally sitting on top of the grass, but I think you could do it with maybe like um, a six maybe? I have a five, but okay. if you see, I mean. Let's do a five, yeah. Let's do a five and let's just get it back on the green. Okay. Here's my five. Do you have a five? <laughs> Where is it then? Nope, doesn't look like you have a five. Did I lose it? I lost my five then. Yep. But okay. I don't know where. almost had a heart attack, didn't you? I almost had one. All right, don't fall apart on me now, <laughs> okay? All right. That's what wives are for. Yes. To help you find things. Okay, stay on the green. We're moving up. Kind of by that big tree over there. Yeah. It was like a low stinger, but we're moving up. I think he has a better um, lay um, with this shot. At least like the green is visible. And he didn't get in the bunker, so that's good. But, all right, we're going on his third shot. Definitely, I know he can get on the green and on here. Hopefully make a one putt and we'll finish off this hole with a par. That's the goal. I like it. I like the plan. Yeah, it's hard to think about losing clubs and then the next shot as well. So you got to just stay focused. Just. That's what like, I said, don't fall apart on me now. Yeah, like most things in golf, you just got to, the next shot, you know, you hit a bad shot, do something stupid, you just got to make up for it. All right, this is where we are at. The green is right over there. It's a blue flag today. Let these guys pass through. 165 yards. 165 yards. I say use your uh, nine. Nine? Your wedge. I say use your nine. Nine. Okay. I would say a seven, but okay. Huh, really? Okay, use your eight. Let's meet in the middle. <laughs> okay. 
compromise. Okay. Because sometimes you hit your wedge and it's like 150 yards. Okay. Hmm. Didn't get good contact at all. Well, all right. Practice swing sounded nice. Next shot. All right. So this is your fourth shot. <sighs> From birdie to bogey, just like that. Well, it's okay. this would still be a par, but I would have to sink it on this one. So. All right. So we are. Probably a good, I don't know, maybe 100 and what? 110 yards or so. Not even, 100 yards. 88. <laughs> okay, 88 yards. <laughs> All right, let's use your gap wedge and get on the green. Nice, Nick. Get on the green. Oh. <sighs> What? Over the green, my goodness. See what I mean? I told you that was a gap and it went over the green. It was, I think it was the right club, babe. I think I, it's me. What, too much, too, um, you should have done like a half swing or something? Yeah, maybe I hit it a little bit too hard just because of those last couple ugly shots, you know. All right. Okay. That's frustrating. It looked pretty though. <sighs> All right, so he just, maybe that was my bad as a caddy. I didn't tell him to, I didn't tell him to do more of like a half swing knowing that he gets really good, um, I guess loft and distance from his wedges. So, but it's not horrible. Like Nick said, it was the right club. It was just too much of a swing. All right. Let's just be safe here and get that putter out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is crazy. Goal here is just to get it close to the pin. So there's a sprinkler right here. Oh, okay bump right here and this is a pretty flat yeah green okay what am i doing let's Patty? <laughs> do i think i should just i think we should go to... more to the left just because this hill is going this way so the ball is going to want to go right okay so if we aim a little bit more to the left hopefully we Go past that sprinkler. Yeah. And the, the goal is just to get it close to the pin. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Yikes. All right, this looks pretty straight on. I think you can, I think you can put this in. Just straight? Straight. Maybe aim a little bit to the left of the cup, but within the cup. Okay. Get in there. Oh. Oh. So good, Nick. Yikes, so is this a double bogey? Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, I, it's not your fault. I think you would be great as a caddy. Yeah, driver, feast or famine. I mean, in hindsight, probably could have went. It's hard to call because I hit my driver so well on the hole before, you know, I didn't think I was gonna screw it up like that. So I could have went with my three and just got like maybe like 200 yards of distance out of it and then went from there. But I, I you know, it was the right call to make. All right, so this is our last hole of me caddying for Nick. This <laughs> <laughs> um, hole number seven. This is a shorter one, par three. We are about 160. 
150 yards. 150 yards? Yeah. Okay. Let's pull out that seven once these guys are done. Okay. Okay, I think you can just kind of set up by the looks of the Which flag. Which way is the wind coming? It look, well, if you look at the flag, it's blowing yeah. to the left. So right to so left. So right to left. So I would say maybe tee up around here. Okay. Nice. Yep, it went a little too... Oh, is it on the green? I don't think so. No, is it a little short? A little short. But that looked great. Yeah, a little bit off balance, but... It looked good. Well, thank you. All right, so... That saved him from the last ugly hole. It's the right line, though. Yeah, for sure. Like, when you said you were off balance, what do you mean, like your stance was not balanced, or? Yeah, well, I was hitting with the ball below my feet. Oh, and then okay. when I followed through, I, I kind of fell backwards a little bit, which uh -huh. means I wasn't kind of getting my weight behind my shot. And that's probably why I ended up short. It didn't get that follow through that I wanted. Yeah, but the line is like the line perfect, was great. though. Yeah. yeah, you are a little short, I see it. Yeah. But... Yeah, I think it was the right club. I definitely think it was the right club. I think maybe this is motivation for, you know, some players out there because you see professionals and, you know, weekend warriors come out on the golf course and they yell at their caddies when they do have the privilege to get a caddy. But all they can tell you is what they think. Right. You got to swing the club. Your caddy is just telling you what they see from their perspective. They're not swinging the club. They're not... You know, they're not you, so they don't know how you feel with a club in your hand. And so, like, you know, it makes me really forgiving towards you, towards Caddy. So, yeah. Okay. So we're right here. This right could be there. a it's bump about and what? run. This could be a little chipper. Yeah. This Let's do be... a bump and run. Okay. I think with a wedge. Okay. Um... A, a wedge or a gap wedge? Can you do a bump and run with a gap wedge? Yeah. Oh, okay, let's do a gap wedge. Um, it does slope right to left, so oh. I say aim more right. Okay. Um, really, really soft swing. Maybe a little bit more than that. Okay. Get up there, get, get up, up there. there. Oh. Sorry, babe. No, it's all good. You can put that. All right. Man, I wish that would have got a little bit more. Yeah, but it's right on the fringe. It's not horrible. Yeah. That was my fault. But it's always so hard to gauge. Like your short game is obviously where I struggle, but So I'm thinking if we aim right around here. Okay. Um, not right next to the cup, but kind of like right here. Okay. Get in that hole. <gasps> oh. Well, the pros and cons of this is I didn't eagle the first hole, so I don't have to listen to my wife for the rest of our entire what? lives. I... <laughs> <laughs> well, you have to be birdied, so you have to listen to me for... Part of the time. <laughs> Half. Half of the time. Three quarters of the time. Yeah. So, uh, but I think all in all, it was the golfer today. Uh, as you can see, it wasn't the caddy. She gave me some really great tips and some club advice, and it just came down to my hitting and being warmed up and being in that zone and uh, being consistent. So all in all, I would definitely use her as a caddy again. Yeah, I'll use my husband as a caddy too. <laughs> Maybe, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, follow, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching another episode of Team Faithful Golf. And leave a comment.